Okay, now on to our next topic, which is the custom material pack we're giving away free at JustMakeGames.com. Anybody can come download these, and these aren't just textures. They're ready-to-go materials for you to just drop into your CryEngine 3 folder. And there's actually five materials being shown in this one image, and it's kind of hard to tell because they're blending. It's got the muddy grass, grass, mud, dirt, and rocks. And we're providing this because we did offer texturing tutorials, which are very helpful. And if you don't know how to texture, go watch those. But right now, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on what's been updated and what techniques we're using and continuing to learn about so that you guys can blend these textures even nicer and have much better looking textures in the engine. So I really recommend if you're going to follow our make a game tutorials that you just watch the next minute or so and that you don't just install these textures and materials and think that you're done with texturing because even these aren't the highest quality kind of materials you'd want to use in a commercial game and unless you really fine tune them and there's a lot of techniques we're still learning to continue to make better materials but these will work fine and I think you guys will learn a lot from them and enjoy using them let's go into Photoshop to so I can quickly show you just how one was made okay so you should already know that your textures great place to get them are cgtextures.com and you want to use a 512 by 512 for your main diffuse and then you can either use a filter other high pass in order to the high pass the texture yourself and you can get specific with it but the diffuse needs to be kinda grayish because it's not where the tech the material gets its color from or you can just use the uh, crytif exporter to export it and select terrain diffuse and it'll gray it for you terrain diffuse high pass is if you've done it yourself so once you've done that you want to focus on your background layer which is a 64 by 64 image and it's what is, is seen from very far away so basically just a brown blob if it's gonna be a mud or something like that and the way we make these is to start a new file and make it 128 by 128 and just filter render some clouds and use the appropriate shades that you want so if this was sand use like a light yellow and a medium yellow and then run the clouds and then you want to do filter other offset by 64 because this is a 128 image so we filter offset it by 64 and if we do that twice you can do here's the shortcut to your last filter do it twice and your texture is seamless and you can see here I've, I've already done this but your texture is definitely seamless and then you just save this as a bitmap um, they always use bitmaps for the 64 by 64s and just put that all in the same place uh, you should know where to put those in your CryEngine 3 textures slash custom and so now I'll show you everything that we are including for you guys in the pack you have your dirt grass there's two in mud and then you have your rock so for example we have our diffuse we have our small 64 bitmap the DDS is auto generated um, but it won't because you'll just drop it all in there you go to your CryEngine your game your uh, textures and then I've made a custom folder which if you haven't you can just go up to the top and grab this whole custom folder and just drop it into a folder CryEngine game textures okay now once you're in your map you already know if you don't watch the earlier tutorials to set your layers set the uh, bitmap 64s and then assign the material is in the custom textures folder to the layers and then you paint your layers and I'm gonna show you in the game what you're getting here's your first cracked muddy um, texture and then that blends into these uh, just basic rock dirt texture um, we have the kind of the transitioning between mud and grass into your full grass texture and then that just actually here's the rock the final texture and then it transitions back out using the cracked mud and here's an example of the rock um, kind of on a little cliff area here's some more examples of blending between the dirt and the uh, 
middle grass to the actual grass and I just quickly want to teach you guys some of the uh, tips and techniques that we use to blend these textures and if you're wondering we'll be having uh, tree assets next for you guys we're gonna have cartoony trees and realistic trees and we're gonna include a tutorial for you guys on that now um, let's practice some blending here really quick go into your layer painter and some things you guys are going to want to really toy with is the hardness sometimes I do it on point zero one believe it or not the radius obviously and in your material editor um, you're gonna for the most part your diffuse color should be two, 255 all whites but sometimes it just looks better with the blending when you lower it and um, you just gotta play with all those settings but like I said sometimes I uh, I'll put a one a point zero one on the hardness here and it makes a big difference um, yeah I'm not really sure crash tutorials over